Hello everybody, so glad to have you here. I'm Ara Shahadzadeh from Wondershare Market. Welcome back to our market redesign series. In today's video, we will redesign TikTok, the newest popular social platform. The profile page is one of the most important pages in the TikTok app. Well, the current version has a clear structure, but do you have the same feeling that the bottom grid that gathers all the videos together doesn't look neat? So we will redesign the TikTok profile page. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to our channel because very often we release many interesting tutorials and you might find them helpful. All right, let me go ahead and click on the create button and then I'm gonna hit prototype and from here I'm gonna choose iPhone 12 Pro or 12 and then hit the create button to create our project. There we go, our project has been created successfully and I'm gonna rename this project to TikTok. And now let's figure out what we need. For this redesign project, I'm gonna use dark mode, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and create a rectangle as my background, just like that. Let me draw a rectangle that fits my artboard's dimension and I'm gonna modify its color to a dark gray. All right, now let me move this layer down and put it below my other layers, just like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and select the status bar and uncheck the fill and also modify its color to white. All right, let me go ahead and remove this navigation bar as well because we are going to create our custom navigation bar. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and create a text layer. And here I'm gonna write Wondershare Market and let me modify its color to white and also it's font to Montserrat. And finally, I'm gonna modify the font size to 15 points, just like that. And let me align it horizontally. What else do we need for our navigation bar? Well, I think if we put a left arrow on the left side, it would be great. So let me head over to the resources and I'm gonna go to icon and I'm gonna go to material design icon. All right, let's look for arrow, there we go. I'm gonna choose this left arrow and just drag and drop it into my artboard. And now it's time to modify its color to white. Perfect. And finally, I'm gonna align it with my text layer, this title, and its left margin is gonna be 24 pixels. All right, our navigation bar is ready. Now it's time to add our profile image here. So let me drag and drop an image view here, and then I'm gonna modify its dimension to 64 by 64 pixels. So let me quickly modify that. All right, and also I'm gonna make it rounded. So let's increase the corner radius amount to 20 pixels. And finally, from my library, I'm gonna import the Wondershare Market logo. So let me go to logo, and there we go. All right, cool. Its left margin is gonna be 64 pixels, just like that and its top margin is gonna be 130 pixels. All right, and now I'm gonna need a text layer for the account's username. So here I'm gonna write at wondershare.market and also I'm gonna modify its font to Montserrat and its color to white, there we go. The font size is gonna be 13 points and also let me align it with my profile image. Its left margin is gonna be 16 pixels and I'm gonna move it down a little bit. Let me duplicate it, move it down. And here I'm gonna write design interactive and animated prototypes. All right, let me make it smaller just like that. Its right margin is gonna be 64 pixels and also now I'm going to decrease the alpha or opacity to 70% to get a good visual hierarchy, all right? So now the top margin is going to be 8 pixels, pretty good. So the top part is ready. Right under that, we are going to place the following, the followers and the likes numbers. So I'm going to start with a text layer. Let me duplicate this text layer and move it down. And here I'm going to write following. But this time I'm gonna modify the weight from regular to light. And then let me move it down a little bit. Again, duplicate it, move it up. 
here I'm gonna write the number let's write 64 and this time I'm gonna make it bold there we go and I'm gonna increase the opacity to 100% perfect let's align them horizontally all right cool I'm gonna group them let's duplicate it and move it to the right side just like that and here I'm gonna write followers cool and for this one let's write 9.3k let me increase the width of this text layer all right the middle one is ready as well let me duplicate it move it to the right side and here I'm gonna write likes and for the number let's write 12.4k all right I'm gonna align them horizontally and we are almost done now let's take care of margins and padding the right margin here is going to be 64 pixels the left margin for this following is going to be 64 pixels as well and this one should be placed in the middle just like that all right now let's select all of them and i'm going to adjust the top margin to 24 pixels perfect what else do we need here well for the profile page we obviously need a follow button and also i'm going to place the Instagram icon and a send message icon so let's start with the button I'm gonna create a button using a rectangle just like this and I'm gonna modify the dimension to 142 and the height is gonna be 44 pixels I'm gonna uncheck the stroke and also let's make it rounded so I'm gonna increase the corner radius amount to 14 pixels and finally let's modify the color to this accent color of tic tac the left margin is going to be 64 pixels and the top margin is going to be 24 pixels now i need a text layer so here let's write follow and let's modify the font to monserrat and also the color to white there we go let me align them horizontally and vertically and our button is ready now I need two more buttons so let me select this container duplicate it move it to the right side since I'm gonna maintain the corner radius amount I just want to modify the dimension to 44 by 44 now I need to modify the color as well so let me choose this dark gray obviously I'm gonna need the Instagram icon so let's go to the resources and here I'm gonna look for Instagram there we go let me drag and drop this icon into my artboard and finally I'm gonna modify its color to white perfect now let me group them duplicate it move it to the right side and let's change the icon to paper plane so let's look for paper plane all right this one looks good but as you can see although the dimensions are the same this paper plane icon looks slightly bigger so we need to scale it down a little bit in order to get a good balance just like that all right it looks great now let's adjust the margin for this Instagram button the left margin is gonna be 16 pixels and for this one the left margin is gonna be 16 pixels as well now let's select all of them and group them all right the top part is ready now it's time to move on to the next section right below this top part we're gonna place two tabs okay the grid tab and the favorite tab so let's start by dragging and dropping the grid icon into our artboard so I'm gonna go to resources and from here I'm gonna look for grid as you can see we've got plenty of options I'm gonna go with this one so let me drag and drop it into my artboard and let's make it white now I'm gonna duplicate it move it to the right side and let's change it to heart so I'm gonna go with this one all right let me move it to the right side here it looks fine I'm gonna group them and align it horizontally just like that now I need an indicator in order to be placed under this grid icon so let me create a rectangle and then let's modify its dimension to 34 by 2 pixels and I'm gonna uncheck the stroke and let's make it completely rounded pretty good and the top padding is gonna be 4 pixels alright nice our tabs are ready as well 
it's time to create our grid. This is the place that all the posts are going to be placed. So first, let me select this home indicator, the background itself, and I'm going to uncheck the fill and modify the color of this home indicator, just like that. And now I'm going to start creating some posts. For my post, I'm going to have a card. And on top of that, I'm going to place an image and finally an icon and a text layer. So let me go ahead and create a card using a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle and let's modify the width and height to 103 and 134. Let me uncheck the stroke and I'm going to make it rounded. So let's set the corner radius amount to 14 pixels and I'm going to modify the color to dark gray. Nice. Our card is ready. Now it's time to place an image view on top of that just like this and I'm going to modify its dimension as well. So let's set the width and height to 95 and 126 and I'm going to make it rounded. But this time the corner radius amount is going to be 12 pixels. Okay, there we go. Now it's time to select our image from our library. So let me go to the library and from the TikTok folder that I already created, I'm going to choose the first post. All right, this is going to be our first post. What else do I need here? Well, here I'm going to place an eye icon and a text layer that indicates the number of views. So let me start by adding the icon. So let's look for eye. All right, this one looks cool. Let me drag and drop it here. And then I'm going to make it white. And finally, let's decrease its size to 11 by 11 pixels. All right, I'm going to move it down. Its bottom and left padding are going to be 8 pixels. And then I'm going to need a text layer. And here let's write 1K. Let me make it white and also modify the font to Montserrat. And finally, I'm going to decrease the font size to 12 points. There we go. Let me align it with my icon. All right, it looks good. But if I change this image to something else, chances are that this text layer and this icon would not be readable. So how can we fix that? Well, we can add a dark overlay on top of our image. I already prepared a gradient in order to add to this card. Therefore, I'm going to select this image. I'm going to duplicate it, move it up just like that. And I'm going to move it down and put it below my icon and this text layer. And let me go ahead and modify this image to this dark overlay. And there we go. As you can see now we have this overlay and it makes this icon and this text layer more readable. Cool. Now let's select all of them, group them and let's set the margin. Its left margin is going to be 24 pixels. All right. I'm going to duplicate it, move it to the right side and I'm going to duplicate it once again and put it here. All right, now I'm going to select all of them, duplicate them, move them down. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and increase the height of my artboard in order to duplicate these cards. So let me select my artboard and increase the height to 894. And let me increase the background height as well. And finally, I'm going to put this home indicator at the bottom of my artboard, just like that. But now I'm going to select this tab bar and this indicator and move them up just like that. And also I'm going to select these cards and move them up. And finally, I can select these three cards and duplicate them. All right, cool. I think I can move them a little bit up to get something like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and modify the contents of these posts and I'm going to fast forward this process. All right, as you can see, our posts are ready. Now let's go ahead and preview it. There we go. As you can see, I can scroll it down and up. All right, our profile page is ready. However, I'm going to show you one more thing. Let's create another page, the detail page for these posts. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new screen. Let me click on this plus button and let's call it detail. Then I'm going to select my background copy it and paste it for this detail page just like that. However, 
I'm gonna adjust the dimension a little bit since this new screen is slightly smaller and I'm gonna modify the color of the status bar and also the color of the home indicator there we go now I'm gonna show you one of the newest features of Wondershare market which is the video component if you head over to the resources and go to libraries I'm gonna go to basic and from here if I scroll down you can see that many new components have been added to this library recently and I'm gonna choose video and let's drag and drop it into my artboard and then I'm gonna scale it to fit my artboard's dimension just like that now let me move it down and put it below my other layers and finally right at the bottom I'm gonna place three different buttons so let me drag and drop an image view into my artboard and I'm gonna make it 44 by 44 pixels and finally let me go to my library and from the icons folder I'm gonna choose this one let's duplicate it move it to the right side and I'm gonna modify the icon to this one once again let's duplicate it move it to the right side and let's modify the icon to something else this one the share icon now I'm gonna adjust the margin to 32 pixels and finally let's group them and align this group horizontally all right and I'm gonna move it down and if I select this video component on the right side you can see that we have different options here in this text field you can paste your URL for example you can just go to YouTube and copy your videos URL and paste it here this is exactly what we are gonna do and also you can adjust these settings you can check the autoplay you can check the loop you can hide the controls I'm gonna hide the controls and I'm gonna check the autoplay and loop okay and now let me paste my URL here there we go and as you can see nothing happens that's because we need to first preview our page but before that let's go to the profile page and from here I'm gonna choose this post and I'm gonna click on this Thunderbolt icon and drag it and drop it on the detail screen in order to create an event and then if I go and preview it I can click on it and there we go can you see how cool it is Okay, that's all for today's episode. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and you're welcome to leave your opinions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Arash and hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.